Good morning everyone. So I just wanted to update you guys on how my skin is doing. So my face is doing okay, but I noticed that I am getting a little bit flakier than um, like last week, the last couple of weeks. Generally it's like pretty flaky, but the flakes are small and I don't get that big chunks of flakes anymore, which is good. Um, yeah, so all the white bit here, that's just how my flakes are. I didn't put any cream on or anything. So that's how my face is looking. And I used to always have the scabs underneath my nose and that's reduced significantly. And my eyebrows are doing great. And I lost a lot of hair on my hairlines as well, but that's coming back. You can see like the baby hair just growing back. So yeah, and my neck's all good now. I used to be really scabby, but that's all fallen off. It's ended the clear skin phase. It doesn't hurt at all. And this area is good as well. And my arms, it's white because I put pseudo cream on it last night and I wrapped it with bandages. My arms have been really itchy and and as you already probably know, my arms are the area that gets the most itchy out of my whole body. Because my nails are done, they don't really break the skin. So it does it does cause a little bit of it. It does cause a little bit of damage, but not as bad. They do get a little bit weepy if I scratch them. But other than that, they are okay. But still recovering, obviously. I forgot to mention, my hands have been getting so itchy for some reason. I don't know if it's a part of TSW, but this morning, between my fingers and also like my fingers, were so itchy. Yeah. They're pretty much on my fingers, not my hands, just like my fingers on this side as well. I don't know, I used to get it before I went through this whole TSW thing as well. Does anyone know what this is? Or has anyone gone through the same thing? Is it part of TSW? Now some of you may have noticed by now, but we go to Kmart a lot. It's just our comfort place and it's so fun to look around. We okay, got Google. home and my boyfriend Volume offered up. to wash my hair, so that's what we're doing here. I get asked a lot about what hair products I use, and since starting TSW, I've only used the shampoo and conditioner bars from a brand called Hair Cookie. It's an Australian small business. I'll put a link down below, but you can use my code REMYTSWJOURNEY10 to get 10% off the products i love their products because they don't irritate my skin and they smell amazing and keep my hair so soft i've been making this pumpkin soup it's dairy free but it tastes so good and i think pumpkins in season now so they're so sweet so i recently found this vegan thickened cream at kohl's and it is so amazing you can use it in recipes like this but also if you put a bit of honey in, in the thickened cream and whip it up this instantly becomes a whipped cream without any refined sugar and me having a sweet tooth i really missed having desserts so i'm so happy i found a healthy alternative Good morning everyone. So a couple of days ago my face started to become so itchy and I scratched a little bit and they got weepy last night and I was feeling so down because my face was doing so well for like a month, maybe like three weeks. I was like kind of upset about my face. I thought that hard time was over and I was progressing. I know TSW isn't a linear healing process, but I was just feeling a little upset. We had the leftover pumpkin soup for breakfast. It was so yummy. And I still had some pumpkin puree left. So I made a crustless pumpkin pie and it turned out really good as well. Good 
Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on how my skin is at the moment. My face hasn't been the best these couple of days. Um, it's just been so itchy at night and I couldn't help myself but scratch it. So it got weepy. You can see where it got weepy. The color is a bit different and around my mouth as well. And I was feeling pretty down because I had good skin on my face for like three weeks and then to go back to this weepy stage, it wasn't fun. Um, but my boyfriend's been so supportive and he reminded me that TSW isn't a linear healing process and that before it becomes better, it takes a few steps back. So he said that once I get through this, my skin will be much better than it was before. So with his reassurance, I feel much better. But this is where I am right now. I'm just editing YouTube. It's a Sunday. I have my favorite Pana organic chocolate. This is my favorite flavor. I don't have it too often because it does have coconut sugar in them. It doesn't have any refined sugar. It's dairy free. It's organic, but yeah, I have it once in a while just for a little treat. So, yeah. so me, my mom and my sister, we were running late to see a movie and this fire alarm was randomly going off and because we were running it kind of looked like we were doing something bad um, but anyways it stopped right before the movie thank goodness and we had sushi while we watched the movie we watched Top Gun and Tom Cruise was so hot. This morning we went out for our weekly grocery shopping and it was so cold that day. Good morning. I literally just woke up. Um, just wanted to update you guys. My skin, my, my face hasn't been doing the best but it's slowly picking it up it's been really itchy at night especially around here and it does get weepy after i scratch it um, and uh, it's flaky i've got like a lot of like stiff flakes around my mouth and it hurts when i move it too much and it's both sides of my mouth are cracked everywhere else I'm doing pretty well. The other day I was taking photos for my Instagram and I realized that I only really just have TSW on my face and the inner areas of my arms. So you couldn't really see in the pictures. I was trying to show um, my TSW in the pictures but I couldn't really see it. So that made me realize how far I've come. Because basically I just have TSW on my face and my arms now. Everywhere else I'm like it's pretty much close to healing. So yeah. And I can't see anything with my glasses. Okay, it's better. And yesterday I was feeling so so down because you know I haven't been working for like Four months now, so starting in TS, no, three months. I took a break from my work when I started no moisture treatment, so it's been like three months. And so my lifestyle like changed heaps. I'm just at home, like I do go out for like grocery shopping and stuff, but that's about it. And I didn't think I would, and I haven't seen my friends, and you know. I haven't been socialising at all and I think I didn't think that it was affecting me as much but yesterday I really felt it. I think it was affecting me subconsciously because I, I felt so down yesterday like 
you know when you have that feeling when you feel like you've done nothing all day and you just feel like you know you're not worthless but like you feel like ugh another reason why I think I felt like that yesterday was because I feel that my life is changing a lot right now and when you progress through life and you go up a stage and everything is out of your comfort zone it's just like a whole new life you feel really like down before you go up because my life really changed since starting to TSW like I have all these followers on Instagram like TikTok, social media now I'm getting featured on like news articles I'm doing like interviews on the phone I'm doing like lives and like and I'm moving to Melbourne next year. I, I'm just in dealing with TSW. Everything is so new and, and I'm just out of my comfort zone. And I just feel like flowy every day. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. I was feeling so down yesterday. But it's okay, that's part of life. And one day, that next stage I want to get to will be my normal. So that will be my comfort zone and then once I overcome the challenges within that stage I will go to the next stage but then before I go up there I want to have a period of time where I feel down and that's completely normal I feel that that's just how life works so that was my update oh and my hands are so itchy last my fingers actually so last no, I, I was so itchy on my fingers, like in, the, in between the fingers and my key. Not so much my core or my palm, just my fingers. Tonight we went out to see Vivid Sydney with my family and I was so excited because it's been, it's been two years since um, Vivid last happened because of covid here's my new nails they're looking so cute it had been a while since we came to the city and there were so many people because of vivid and we were meeting up with my family there but it was so hard to meet up um, it took us quite a while to meet up but we ended up meeting up and we went to go see the lights we stopped by at the food stalls and we bought some chips on a stick it was so hard to find anything that was gluten free and this was the only thing I could find but I love chips on a stick so I'm not complaining this is how I ate and my sister was laughing because she said it looked like an elephant eating but I was so self-conscious to take my mask off so this is how I ate throughout the night I really had a fun time it was so nice to be out again after so long Hey everyone, I'm just editing YouTube but I just wanted to tell you guys how my skin's doing my arms get extremely itchy they're so so itchy most of the day especially in the morning and just random times of the day both arms it's really hard to see progress um these couple of weeks um i had a lot of improvement in the first few months but i feel like as i'm progressing through my healing journey i'm at a phase where it's really hard to tell improvement so i'm kind of disheartened i don't know, I just want to feel motivational and so i've been feeling pretty like bleh but it's part of the healing process i'm just gonna believe in the process i just keep telling myself that because it's really hard to see you no know, progress every day like when you see yourself every day in the mirror it's not really hard to see progress but what's keeping me going is all of my followers on social media 
who like cheer me on and say that it is improving and like reminding me how far I've come and yeah so I'm gonna stay positive I'm about to go shopping because we're out of a few things so I'll take you guys with me gonna go out for a walk instead of working out today I just don't feel like working out and just gonna go get some fresh air and vitamin D into no much treatment and since coming off steroids completely so it's time for my full body skin check and I haven't been updating you guys about my skin lately so I have taken a few steps back in terms of how my face is doing you can see I've got lots of scabs and I had a lot of weepy um, areas. You can see how some areas were weepy during the night. And yet yeah, I feel like I've entered another cycle. Because the first two months of starting no motion treatment, my face and my body significantly improved. And and then during I guess during the second month to the third month. The improvement kind of slowed down and I felt like I wasn't improving and you know I, I was feeling pretty down and then a few days back it actually regressed so I feel like I've entered another cycle like I said every cycle is meant to be quicker to bounce back so hopefully this cycle won't be as difficult as the first ones it sucks to have weepy skin again, but it's part of the process and I know that every day I am closer to healing even though today may be worse than a couple of days ago and I know that the inside of my body is so much healthier than before